I'm going to be going over the JB4 tuner uh, maps, each what each map does, what how much boost it gives you and all that, what do you need, uh, what uh, upgrades you need, what type of fuel you'll need, how to get the right mixture for whatever it requires, and uh, what spark plugs you'll need, uh, what specific specific gap you'll need for the for the spark plugs, all that good stuff. Is I'll be as much as detailed as I can. So, all right, let's get started. So, uh, we'll go maps first. All the maps. It has eight maps. Now, map zero is the JB4 disabled. So basically, if you are on map any other map, right, or you don't know what map you are, you just simply click map zero and it'll go uh, disable the, the tuner. Now, map one, you can run it without these spark plugs, so you don't need to up upgrade your spark plugs. It'll be four psi over <clears throat> over the stock, and then you got map two five psi over stock. So basically, let's say your car is making ten psi, sixteen psi. So six, that on top of that, so twenty. Then you got five psi over stock. Now these two can be run without any spark plugs, right? Any spark plugs upgraded since. It's not as much boost as any other map. <clears throat> Reason is for the uh, the spark plugs is that you don't get any any misfires at a at a higher RPMs at a, for all the extra boost that it's pushing. So now map three here's where you'll need from here down you'll need the uh, the E thirty mix which is, I'll show you in a bit how to make it. And you'll need the upgraded spark plugs. Now the spark plugs that you'll be needing will be these. So, well, there's two of them. You have the, the Denso step one and you have a Denso step two. I went ahead and got the Denso step two. So they're 11 bucks, it's really not that much, $66. They don't charge tax and then the gap for those, the specific gap for those is here. This is the email from them, so I'm not lying to you guys. This is from their support. Um, this will be the step one. And since I have step two, this is going to be my gap for mine. So this is the gap for the Denso 2 that you'll need so you don't have any problems or run into any power loss for map three and down. All right, so map three and down, you'll need spark plugs with the gap I just showed you with E30 mixes and up, all right? Map four, you got up to seven PSI over stock. Again, race fuel or E30 mixes up to 30%. Map five, 30 over stock, but without top end tamper. So it'll constantly be pushing the seven PSI. So it'll be seven PSI up to high RPMs. Now for this, you don't need, uh, uh, it's required for uh, bolt-on modifications. So basically uh, intakes, uh, stuff that's gonna upgrade your car to help it get to the max power. May not be suitable for E85 mixtures due to high pressure dropping. If using this map on E85, you should be experienced at reading your own logs and evaluating ignition at advance and fuel pressures. So I'm basically, I will only be uh, running map four since I haven't really researched how to read the, the graph. I haven't played around with too much. So I'd rather be push, uh, doing map four at the moment with the 30 mixes. So this is what I'll be running. And then you have uh, map six. Use your adjustable map, enter the volume. Okay, so this one is where you can put um, whatever map, whatever boost you want. So say first gear, you want uh, four boost. First gear, you get four boost, you know, just in case you don't want to spin or whatever. And then you go, you, you enter four PSI. Now you go to second gear and you enter six PSI. And then you keep going from there, you know, stuff like that. Or say you want to you wanna have this map for row for rows, you know, say you want to raise somebody at at a 40 or 40 row or 60 row, you can put 
I'm gonna say, I'm not sure about second gear, third gear, but you could put a second gear seven psi, you know, or third gear seven psi, and then drop it down to six psi, fourth gear, fifth gear, stuff like that, you know, where you want um you get adjust this however you want. Map six now map seven. This is for Watermyth. I'm not gonna be running. I don't think I ever be running Watermyth. I honestly don't know much about it. So if you want to look into that, then or if you guys want me to actually make a video about Watermyth, I'll do more research. I'll do how uh, I'll, they do sell it here at the uh, Burger Tuning. So if you guys want me to do this, I'll go ahead and and look more into it and then I'll build a video how that works. And then map eight. Uh, ballot map uh, runs around half as much boost as stock, so I don't really know what that means, to be honest. But yes, this is the maps. This is all the maps you'll have. And this is all the boost that everything uh, each map does. All right, now we went over the plugs. This is the spark plugs. These are the ones I got after map two. You need, um, and then this is the gaps. The gap. Now, E30 mix. Let's go here. Let's go. Oh, where is it? Here. Let's see. So this is the type of fuse that you see at a regular gas station, right? You'll see 87, 89, 83, right? So this is your E85. Some gas stations have E85. Okay. So it'll be 85, and you'll need 93. To get the mixture, these you will be needing to mix these two, 93 and 85, to get E30 mix. So what you're gonna do here, if you're not running, if you're not run, your car's not running Supreme uh, at all. Like uh, right now, I'm cheap, you know, so I'm running 88, 87. I'm gonna have to almost empty the tank, right, and then uh, go to low fuel, and then I'm gonna start. I'm gonna run. I want to say five gallons, you know, of Supreme. Make sure that cleans out whatever was left here for 87, and then once that's done, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, f uh, I'm gonna start with the mix since I know my car will now be half. Now we have in all 93 Supreme gas. So and how to make it? All right, let's see. So you go to calculator. Um, in order for you to get the E30 mix, it's basically 30% E85. So now, let's say you have you put eight gallons of 93 so you do eight times 0.30 which is 30 percent 85 that equals 2.4 so on top of eight gallons of 93 you're going to be adding 2.4 gallons of e85 all right of e85 and that so you're going to put eight plus 2.4 make sure you have room for 10.4 gallons because that's going to be the right mixture for you to get e30 all right which is required now let's go see where it's at i have it somewhere here all right i don't know where i left it but that's the right uh, make sure you'll be needing for like somewhere I know it's here. Oh, here it is. All right. So stock versus map five. This is what it what it runs now. In order for you to run map two here, this is ninety one octane, which is basically the gasoline that some gas stations have eighty seven, ninety one, and ninety three. So basically, it's not a big change in getting that gas one and the gasoline for that one. Now, how is keep losing the page? Where is it? Here, here, map one. You'll be making. 400, 416 horsepowers to the wheel and 514 torque simply in intakes if you have intakes gasoline again doesn't matter right now and then just map two no spark plugs remember you don't need spark plugs for map two now map three all right we're gonna go map three this is where you need your uh 30 percent your e30 mix is what it's called so we say intakes and E30, right, on map three. This is how much your car will be making, 434 horsepower and 519 torque. 
All right, this is simple. If you have, this is sim this is really easy to do. So you can be pushing this much horsepower by simply running map three, intakes, E30, and upgraded spark plugs. From three up, you have to upgrade your spark plugs. Now map five. Again, intakes, E30 mix, map five. Max power, 441 horsepower and 518 torque. So this is all to the wheels. This is all dynoed. All right. So basically, that's a lot. That's a big change. Going from 327 stock, right, to 441. That is a, a more than 100 horsepower gain. And torque, I mean, going from 392 to 518, you guys can uh, see the difference there, but. This is basically uh, a quick graph of the dynos done with each with each uh, each map. So if you guys want to get an idea of how things uh things go, you know. Uh, they also have it on their site. I'll post their link to their site. Uh, but that's basically it. That's it. This is the uh, this is map five, I think. Yeah, map five. I will be trying to run map five. Probably I don't know yet, but I'll run map five for you guys. Uh, I do have a. I I just installed it in my car. I will be doing the upgrade spark plugs uh, sometime this next weekend. I already ordered those as well. So right now, currently, I can only run map one and two. Uh, but everything's already installed. I'll be uploading all that as well. I will be doing a dyno just to get exact numbers what my car is pushing with map uh, 2 well I'll do I'll do stock uh, base numbers without the JB4 with just what I have I have intakes and I have downpipes and then I'll upgrade I'll do the upgraded uh, I'll, I'll go straight to map 2 and then I'll do map 5 but of course I'll have the spark plugs and the E30 mix for those runs so I'll basically I'll be running map two with uh, E30 and then also map five with E30 mix. But yes, guys, uh, that's all you need to in order for you to run uh, uh, every each map. There's not much to it. Like I said, these are all the maps. Everything is on their site. If you go to Burger Tuning, right? When you're gonna buy the JB4 here, Burger Tuning this is for uh this fits a 2018 to 2021 at the moment that I know. Uh, mine is the 2021 uh, Stinger. So this is what I use. This is what I ordered. I'll post the link if you guys need. And that's pretty much it. All right, if you have any questions, just comment down below. Comment and I'll make sure uh, to answer each guy's comments. And if, uh, if it's something that I need more explanation, I'll make a video about it, but don't be don't be shy, you know, drop a comment, you know, make sure you like, subscribe. I'll be putting the dyno. Let me check what's today. Today is 22nd. I will be doing the dyno January uh, 5th. Oh, no, I mean June, June 5th, I'm sorry. June 5th, I will be doing a dyno, and I'll also upload, I'll upload that. Uh, there's a dyno close to me. And also on when is this? On Sunday, uh, May thirtieth of May thirtieth, I will be doing uh track test track testing. So I will be going to a, a track. Um, it's also prepped. Everything is prepped. You know, prep floor. You know, I won't be slipping as much. Uh, I, I can't do any pulls in the street. For one, I don't want to get stopped. And two, well, I mean, it's not going to be as accurate since I'll be spinning as much. Now the track, it's safe. You know, safe. So I'll be able to do uh as many pulls that you guys want to see. Uh, let me know what guys, what map you guys want me to, what, what maps you guys want to see. Um, let me see. Um, what else? If you guys want me to race a specific cars, there's some nice cars. Just drop a, a name. You know what cars you you mostly see around. Uh, I see a lot of scat packs. You know, 
I see a lot of Mustangs. Those are very popular. So those two cars I see a lot. So let me know what you guys want to see. A lot of those cars go there. Um, I'll be if you guys want me to go live during the the races, I can have somebody help me out, and I'll be able to go live. But for sure, I'll be May May thirtieth. I think it was May thirtieth. I will be doing the the track track races. So I don't want any having troubles or anything like that. And I'll be also be uh, recording and logging. I'll be logging in every every time. To my cars are zero to sixty, the improvements, all of that. So subscribe, leave a like, comment with you guys questions, and I'll make sure to answer every single one. All right, thanks guys. See you on the next one.